Hey, to thanks for visiting. Hope all you are doing well. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the Fourier transform. Okay, so Fourier transform is a very important topic for gate exam, gate engineering mathematics, and any gate mathematics and any other state level set exam. This is also helpful for WB set exams. Okay, so basically the problems comes from the Fourier transformation like a uh, direct problems comes that what is the Fourier transformation of uh, this function and some Fourier sine and Fourier cosine transform so in this video we are just cover the Fourier transform and the uh, further videos we are covering also covered the uh, Fourier sine transform and Fourier cosine transform and so on okay so let's start and before starting I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel Please give a like to this video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay, so let's start. So see, what is the Fourier transform? So let uh, fx be a function defined on minus infinity infinity and be piecewise continuous in each partial interval and absolutely uh, integrable in minus infinity infinity. Then the Fourier transform of the function capital fx uh, is a function of a new variable s. Okay and it is the denoted and defined by f of fx this also denoted by the scripted f of this functions fx this is equal to f bar s and this is also denoted by small fs this is equal so this is the just name of the functions is in minus infinity to infinity it will be our minus i s sorry it will be our i iota sx fx this is the function into dx okay so this is one convention of defined fourier fourier transformation so there is an another convention that we can define the Fourier transformation okay so you also come on that convention also so the Fourier function fx is then called the uh, inverse Fourier transform that is f bar s so fx is the so we can define fs this is the Fourier transform and f bar as the inverse Fourier transform so fx is equal to so Fourier transformation of a function is a function of s and inverse Fourier transform is again the function of x okay so fx this is inverse obviously inverse Fourier transform of this function fx okay this is equal to f inverse this is Fourier inverse okay we also write the scripted f of this functions fx so this fx this is the functional fx you can also denote this by small f so if we take uh, so this is also equal to f inverse this is Fourier inverse okay this is Fourier inverse of the function f of s and this is the Fourier transform of the function fx or capital fx um, so this is the Fourier transformation of fx and if fx satisfies the Dirichlet condition in every finite interval minus 1 to 1 and further if fx is absolutely integrable in minus infinity infinity then at every point of continuity of fx we can define fx equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity uh, f bar s e to the bar minus isx dx okay so this is the inverse Fourier we can also define the inverse Fourier okay now this is another convention of the Fourier transformation so uh, here it says that some authors also define Fourier transformation of a function fx small f capital fx is equal to f bar s this is equal to small s this is equal to 1 by root twice pi integration minus infinity to infinity it is equal i s x into fx dx okay so you can also write if the function is fx then it should be 1 by root over of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity it is equal i s x into fx dx okay so this is the Fourier transformation f of s okay so f of fx or Fourier transformation so this is Fourier transformation and inverse Fourier transformation is given by f of x so this is a function of x is equal to 1 by root over twice pi and minus infinity to infinity to the minus iota sx into f bar s this so f bar s is the Fourier transformation of the function okay so this is the definition so if we take the example then I think this is very helpful for you if we understand the Fourier transformation by example okay so it says that find the Fourier transformation of the function capital fx is equal to a to the power minus a mod x where a greater than 0 and x belongs to minus infinity to infinity. So this is the Fourier transformation of the function fx is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity it is where minus sx into the function fx dx. So this is equal to uh, minus infinity to infinity just put the function it is where minus a into mod x dx 
now we can uh, break this functions mod x so for min x belongs to uh, minus infinity to 0 this will e to the power x and for x belongs to uh, 0 to infinity this is e to the power minus x so we just simply integrate these two functions so e to the power uh, a plus i x into x uh, and this is the function e to the power minus a into a minus i x into s x okay so if we integrate with respect to x then we can simply get 1 by a plus i s uh, plus 1 by a minus i s this is equal to 2a by a square plus x square so this is the Fourier transform f of s okay this is the function of s okay so this is the Fourier transform transformation of the function e to the power minus a mod x okay this is the Fourier transformation now uh, here is one another problem so this is very known well known problem f of x is equal to e to the power minus mod x so that is if we simply put a equal to uh, 1 here then we can get the value of this that is the Fourier transformation of e to the power minus mod x okay so put a equal to 1 we get we are just 2 by s square plus 1 is the Fourier transformation of this function okay now take another problem and here in this example we use another convention that is another definition of Fourier transformation okay so find the Fourier transformation of fx is equal to 1 and 0 mod x less than a and mod x greater than a and hence find these two values now here we use this definition so Fourier transformation of this function fx okay so this is equal to fs this is equal to fs this is equal to 1 by root over of twice by integration minus infinity to infinity e to the power isx into fx dx so i recommend you that's always use always use this convention 1 by root over of twice pi okay so this is equal to e to the power isx into fx dx so this is because some uh, in some exams you have to uh, you will get the answer which include this term 1 by twice pi okay more the um, uh, some exams okay so this is equal to 1 by uh, root over of twice by integration minus in a to a because the function is uh, defined on 1 where minus a less x less a and 0 otherwise okay so this is the function so you just uh, take here the interval or the limit of the integration minus a to a e to the power isx into 1 dx so this is equal to e to the power isx means cos x plus iota sin sx dx and if we simply integrate then we get uh, minus a 2 a cos x cos s x plus iota into minus a 2 a sin s x dx so this is odd function goes to 0 so we simply get 1 by root over of twice pi uh, minus a 2 a cos s x into dx okay so this is equal to simply we get uh, 2 by root over of twice pi so this, this, this is even function so we can write the integration minus a 2 a as 2 into integration 0 to a this is equal to 2 by root over of twice pi sin a s into d s after putting the value of the limit of the integration okay so this is our required answer now we have to find two values so we first find this a this one okay sin a s i think okay so f x is equal to we know that this is the inverse Fourier transformation so to prove something we always uh, apply the inverse of the Fourier transformation okay or you always uh, apply the inverse Fourier transformation to prove something or if we simply uh, have to calculate the Fourier transformation then we don't need this thing okay so fx is equal to 1 by root over of twice by integration minus infinity to infinity to the minus isx into fs ds okay so when we find apply the inverse transformation the integration is always with respect to s because this is the all, uh, already we find the la Fourier transformation of a function fx and this is the inverse Fourier transformation okay so fx equal to we apply e to the power minus isx dx when we apply the inverse Fourier transformation so this is equal to 1 by root of twice pi integration minus isx into this functions because we already get the Fourier transformation of uh, the function the given function is this one okay because this is the corollary part of this problem okay so we can uh, write root over of 2 by twice by integration minus infinity to infinity sin a s by s into this one this is equal to fx so fx is the function we here use the defined function okay now x belongs to minus a to a and here in the proof of the 
a uh, second razor that is um, uh, what this one there is no e to the power term present so we can put the value x equal to what zero okay so we put here x equal to zero so that then the term e to the power isx will vanish okay so 2 by root over twice by sin s a by s into ds this is equal to 1 since x equal to 0 which belongs to minus a to a so we write the 1 only so integration minus infinity to uh, infinity sin s a by s into ds this is equal to pi so this 2 2 goes to cancel out and 2 into integration 0 to infinity since this is an even function see sin x is odd function and s is also an odd function so product of these two odd function is an even function okay so this is equal to 2 into integration 0 to infinity sin s a by s into d s this is equal to pi so integration 0 to infinity sin a by s a sin s a by s d s is equal to pi by 2 so this is the value of the second thing second part okay now we also find we have to also find the sin s a cos s x okay integration 0 to infinity i think so see uh, we again use this one also okay this is as the function f s so we apply again the inverse formula so this is also happening uh, happened okay so this is equal to 1 by uh, root over 2 by twice by this is we just break the exponential part because in the first case we uh, just put s equal to 0 to uh, vanish the exponential part but here the sign and cos both are present that means there is terms of exponential okay so 1 by pi into integration minus infinity to infinity we just break real part and imaginary part plus iota into this thing so this is the imaginary part but here the function fx defined is only on real that is there is no imaginary part so that means if we uh, just equate the real and imaginary part so this integration value is 0 so this is the value of the integration the last one this one uh, minus infinity to infinity sin s a into sin s x into ds this is equal to 0 this is the imaginary uh, part of the uh, function and the real part is this one and we have to find the value of the real part so this problem they go a problem jo hai, ye is integration ka value bhi find cut uh, the exam mein aapko aasak ta hai so that's why i here discuss complete thing so they go 1 by pi minus infinity infinity sin s a cos s x by s this is equal to 1 and 0 so if we put uh, integration minus infinity infinity sin s a cos s x by s into d s this is equal to pi when x belongs to minus into infinity that is mod x is less than a and 0 otherwise so this is the value so this is the answer and this is also already 0 because this is the imaginary part okay so this is uh, if this video is helpful then obviously give a like to this video share with your friends and consider subscribing to my channel okay thank you bye milte agla video mein thank you